Maeve is here. Today I want to share a story from the Bible and it's taken from Luke chapter 17 from verse 11 to 19. And it's about leprosy. In the Bible days, there were a lot of leprosy. And leprosy was a terrible, terrible disease. And it was classified as being unclean. Anyone that had leprosy had to go and show himself to the priest. And the priest will say they are unclean and put them in a special um, city, a special city that is meant for people who have leprosy. So people will just say goodbye to their families and that will be it because it was a very contagious disease. It was worse than coronavirus. Coronavirus is bad. You have to isolate for seven to 14 days with the family, if the family, you live with your family, but at least you can stay with your family. But with this um, leprosy, you had to go from the place where you live, leave your house, leave your town and go to a city meant for people who had leprosy. So it was so bad. People were very sad um, and they had this terrible disease and the disease would attack then the nervous system. It will make their fingers fall off. Their legs will be sometimes fall off as well. Sometimes they will be missing a, a, a nose. It was really bad. Some of them within uh, maybe five to 10 years, they even die from that um, um, sickness. So it was such a terrible disease and they were all alone. And when they were um, walking on the street, they had to um, put a special um, a bell under their ankle and they had to be saying, I'm clean, I'm unclean, I'm unclean, don't come near me. I have leprosy, I have leprosy. And the bell would be ringing just to warn um, people of the leprosy. So it was so bad. They were the outcasts of the society. They were rejected by everyone because people did not want to catch the, 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 the leprosy. But one day, Jesus was walking with his disciples and he heard 10 leopards calling his name, Jesus, Jesus, Master, Master. And Jesus turned and he saw them and they came to Jesus. And Jesus saw that they wanted to be healed. And Jesus said to them, go, show yourself to the priest. They looked at themselves, but they went anyway because they were not healed yet, but they still went. And on their way going, all the leprosy was gone. Their skin was returned to normal. Their fingers were restored. All the disease was gone. They were rejoicing on the way. Yeah, we are healed. We are healed. We are healed. And they went to the priest and they showed themselves to the priest and they were healed completely. And the priest said, okay, you can go back to your families. So they went back to their families. Nine of them returned back to, the, to their family. But one of them remembered Jesus. So he went to Jesus and he thanked Jesus. And Jesus said to him, but there were 10 of you. Where is everyone? Where are they? And Jesus said to him, well done. Your faith has made you well. And he went rejoicing. You see, Jesus can heal, isn't it, children? Jesus can heal coronavirus. Jesus can heal cancer. Jesus can heal any disease we can think of. Do we know anyone in our lives who is sick that we can pray for? I'm sure you do. So whenever you're um, praying, remember them and pray for them. Another thing kids, do you have anything God has done for you that you want to thank God for? Don't forget the good things God has done for you and thank him for it because God loves us when we thank him, isn't it? Yeah? So I hope to see you guys soon 
and we will surely see ourselves in church. See you. Take care. Bye.